Here it is guys, I've counted up all the receipts so now I know exactly what my new kitchen costs. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. My name is Barbara and for over a decade I've been teaching viewers and subscribers how to cook authentic dishes from my home country of Belize and many other delicious dishes from basic ingredients. Well, technically, it's only half the kitchen. So we've lived in this house for 26 years. We've renovated the guest bathroom twice. Not once have we renovated the master bathroom or the kitchen. Well, we did kind of renovate the kitchen about six or seven years ago, but what we did was just paint the cabinets white and put the black doorknobs, right? So that gave it a little bit of a new face, which actually worked for me doing the cooking show. But take a look at the cabinets when I bought the house. The owner had just re-varnished them. Look at the pink for my cacao countertops guys you know what that countertop lasted 26 years so I'm just going backwards to show you what we were working with at first and we painted them white and now Joe decided he was gonna build cabinets by looking at YouTube videos I'm so proud of this man because he looked at a this bunch of videos of now he's telling us well, why these hinges are not working because I guess the cabinet the cabinets sure. are either framed or frameless look at the gaping hole right here I didn't like that we went to Home Depot to check them out a lot of them at the Home Depot was like that so Joe went ahead and found this from Amazon these hinges and they actually worked to close in the gap and see their soft close for the doors so he took a long time he started on March the 21st he had to learn how to put in the slides for the drawer build a box for the drawer build a facing for the drawer and at first we thought we were gonna buy doors but we found out that those were super expensive so he decided he was going to learn to make his own doors and he decided he was going to do shaker doors so today he's painting them you know he took his time with this guys because he didn't want to make a whole bunch of mistakes and he still made a few mistakes but we'll talk about that at the end all right so he's painting them breezeway green this is the color that i picked i saw it on um, google when i was searching and then I went to Home Depot to find it. So we decided we were gonna save the upper cabinets and the pantry because those were still good. He's using a heat gun to go ahead and remove three layers of contact paper that's in the cabinets and then we're gonna paint it white. We're gonna paint the shelves white. We don't wanna deal with contact paper anymore, all right? So paint inside the pantry right here and then put everything back in. And then the display cabinets, I'm calling them display cabinets now, but you know, it's where we put the plates and the cups and stuff and then the one above the pantry. So we're going to turn them into display cabinets, meaning that we're going to put glass. All right. So I want to do a lampshade, a unique thing for the kitchen. So I'm using this old time colander and I got this idea from Pinterest, but they had a hanging lamp. Ours is going to hug the ceiling because that's the way the light fixture is right now. So he's going to use this tool here to cut this hole into the thing some people will like put nails and then you know take a needle nose plier and snip it but we have the tools so now he's gonna go ahead and install it and then I put this light bulb but I didn't like it because it's too dark you know for the kitchen so I put my daylight bulb yes I love this all right so take a look underneath the sink here my dad had put in a water filtration system that doesn't work anymore then we have had a lot of plumbing issues that's why the garbage disposal looks so trashy and it's just a hot mess on the here and I'm so glad that demolition day is coming up pretty soon okay oh goodness this is gonna be gone guys so now take a look at the dishwasher the garbage disposal will dump nasty water into the dishwasher so we have this disconnected for years so demolition day is here the boys removed the formica countertop with joe and then the rest of the cabinets just crumbled now look at this wall he's gonna have to go ahead and get drywall and patch it which he's done and then we we wiped down everything with clorox got rid of all the mold and stuff so now he's installed the cabinets because the people are going to come and put in the countertop they told him that he has to put some plywood on the top for when they get here okay so everything's in and then the guys are here oh I painted the wall this tan color just right here by the sink so they put in an undermount sink for me because this is the way I wanted to go the countertops um, well the one countertop is quartz see they're putting in the sink here guys I am so excited this countertop came out so beautiful 
and Joe is adjusting one of the drawers because it's a little bit too high so he has to adjust the rails downwards. The other drawer is perfect and my drawers are deep. They're six inches deep rather than four inches. So after they left, Joe had to go ahead and put in the garbage disposal and the faucet and so on, all right? So now we're putting the backsplash and we're using the peel and stick subway tile that I got from Amazon. And um, this is a little chore to do, guys, because once you stick these things on the wall, you can't move them. So there's no reseeding them. I do have a review for these at my Amazon influencers page. Go ahead and check out my page first before you're gonna buy anything from Amazon. That way, um, whenever you buy something, even if it's something that I'm not promoting, I'll get a little bit of, uh, well, a little piece of the pie from Amazon, okay? That's one way you can support the show. And the links are in the description to my influencers page. So when you're going around the wall outlets, it's more difficult to do this stuff, but we're getting it done, you know? Thank goodness for Joe, because some of this stuff was difficult for me. So take a look at the backsplash now. Subway tiles, look at me moving up in the world, guys. <laughs> So you can see that the faucet's already installed, right? So I don't want a whole bunch of stuff on my countertop. I, I told the kids we're gonna get rid of a lot of stuff. So today is the day that Joe is installing the handles. And we went with black and gold. He bought this tool. We're gonna to review this one for Amazon too. And this is a guide so that the holes don't go in crooked, all right? So it took a little bit of learning for this tool. He took a day to watch videos to learn how to use it. Now the handles are installed. Mm -mm -mm. Now, ta da da da. What you've been waiting for, guys, the new kitchen. So, take a look at my drawer. They're eight inches deep. No, six. Six inches deep. The other ones were four. And then this cabinet right here on the left, near where Wednesday lay down. See, soft close. None of the um, shelves pull out, okay? Underneath my sink, soft close. <laughs> And then the backsplash, of course. And then this from my friend Lisa. The birdies from my mom's house. That's a part of my mom. And then I have contact paper on the blinds. And then the colander for the lampshade. The sink is deep, nine inches deep with the grates to protect the bottom. And then a brand new garbage disposal. The dishwasher we think is gonna work. We haven't run it yet. Okay, so this drawer all my measuring stuff so deep that I can stand up my measuring cup in here. The reason that we didn't put the pull-out shelves is because it makes the cabinet smaller. You know, left to right, it makes it smaller. I love the soft close automatic stuff. And look, display cabinets, look. <laughs> and I painted this. I painted the wall outlet. I put all these fruits and vegetables. Well, I don't think there's any vegetables there. And then the teapot, yes. And then Joe, oh, let me show you the door, see? The glass doors, that's make them display. And then we put only pretty things in here, stuff with color in it, right? The pantry, and look at Joe. He's so proud of his accomplishment. Look at the countertop, has these little splashes in there. I want the other side to be just plain white. See, we're gonna get to this, guys, sooner or later. Now, let's take a look at pictures. So from this angle, then voila, this angle. Voila, and then take a look at this. I know you guys are probably wondering exactly what did all of this come to and where did Barbara and Joe get the money to do this? Well, I can answer both questions. The answer to the first question is $2,698, but I did subtract $225 from this sum because we have $150 worth of materials left over that we can use on the other side of the kitchen in the future. And we had $75 worth of loss, but even that loss wasn't truly a loss because there are doors that Joe built the wrong size and we can use them in a future project. So let's run through this list really quickly guys. I broke down the cabinets into three different categories of wood. Wood for the walls and floors, wood for the frame, the styles and the rails, and of course the door inserts. Then we have the glass door inserts that you see behind me here. Screws, hinges. We bought two sets of hinges because one is for framed and the other is for frameless and you guys saw what happened earlier in the video. We had to figure it out. We're going to keep those hinges because Joe's going to make a hutch for me and we're going to be able to use them. All right. So then of course we have the paint, two gallons of paint for the green paint and the whisper white that's inside the cabinet. And then we bought a quarter paint for the outside of the cabinets and that sleek white because Joe didn't want the outside of the cabinets to be 
like really really white the sleep white has a tinge of green in it so it brings up even more of the green that we have here the sink the faucet the garbage disposal you guys saw that trash garbage disposal that we had the garbage disposal kit the sink strainer i put everything down from the sandpaper the putty everything is up here the door handles the subway tiles behind me and of course there's one thing that i didn't put in yet because i want to do an amazon review on it it's a matte that I bought to put underneath the sink. That way, if we have a plumbing issue in the future, it's not gonna destroy my cabinets. The water's not gonna destroy my cabinets because this mat says it can absorb two gallons of water. So I wanna pour two gallons of water on it to test it to see if it's true, and then I'm gonna put it in under the sink, all right? As to where we got the money from to do this, guys, it's because of Facebook Reels. The people from YouTube who went over to Facebook to watch my reels, the people at Facebook who are watching the reels, you guys are all a part of this because if you didn't watch the reels, I wouldn't be able to make any bonus and I would not have been able to do this, all right? So I'm praying and hoping that they keep me in the reels program that I can continue to make some more bonus. It would take me another two or three months, I think, in order to do the other side of the kitchen. But I thank God for Facebook and this bonus program and I thank God for you guys for watching so that I can make some bonus money so that I could do this, all right? This was done for Mother's Day. We just, Joe just put on the um, pantry door today. He put on the handles today and then I painted the wall outlets and then it, the job is complete. So I hope you guys like what I've produced here for you today. If you like the video, please hit the like button because that helps a lot for me to stay in the algorithm and of course, if you want to reach out to me to become a sponsor to the show or to find out, you know, give me a show idea or something, hit me up at this email below, bearpantryshow at gmail.com. And what else? If you want to donate, I have a cash app. It's dollar sign Bear Pantry Show. If you guys want to donate to the next side of the kitchen, that is more than welcome. But you don't have to, but that's more than welcome. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember guys, we are not buying this book. Pick up a copy of this book instead. Beans and Rice Volume 2 is the only Belizean cookbook backed by The Bear Pantry Show. Take a look at all these wonderful recipes you'll find inside the pages. Not interested in Belizean dishes? Then The Pantry Laid Bear with these better than restaurant quality comfort foods might be the perfect book for you. Only need a small batch or a meal for two? Then pick up a copy of No More Leftovers. Each book has many choices of delicious dishes from basic ingredients. So, in case you guys wanted to know, thanks for staying to the end. In case you guys wanted to know, the next side of the kitchen is going to come to $23. $23. $2386, Joe's huh? like, <laughs> And a lot of loving from me to Joe. Bye!